Um, the last topic here, um, and this is kind of a handicap for, for Dom, considering he's not super involved in the MCU as far as being caught up with all the movies or anything like that. But earlier in the podcast, we talked about Marvel vs. Capcom 4 and uh, the whole issue of Marvel wanting this to be focused more on the MCU, so there's going to be less um, uh, X-Men characters and stuff like that, which kind of makes sense. Um, you know, they want people, they want the game sales to drive the movie sales and vice versa. So what I did is I ended up getting a a picture or a list of all of the original Marvel vs. Capcom 4, uh, 3 roster. So it's all of the Marvel characters, and I eliminated anybody that is f owned by Fox. Um, so any X-Men, Deadpool included, um, and uh, I eliminated all of them. So there's nine open spots on this roster, and this is just... You know, thinking that they're going to have the same number of characters. So, on the, uh, I also came up with a, a, a list of all the other MCU characters that aren't currently in the game. So, we're going to go over them one by one as quickly as possible. And we're going to come up with the nine people that are going to replace the X-Men characters that are getting removed, okay? And we're going to... We're, we can get a list of, like... There's nine, so we can get a list of, like, 12 to 13-ish, and then we'll narrow it down. And when I name the character, just think about it, and we'll talk about whether or not they deserve to be in the running. Um, so first off, Rocker Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy is already in the game, so he he can't be put in the game twice, obviously. So Groot, do you think Groot should or or, or would be in Marvel vs. Capcom 4's roster? Absolutely. Yeah, I think he's a lovable character. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. Um, so he's. I think I'm gonna put a star next to him. He's a definitive in for sure. I think Groot's so much of a lovable character. Um, they can have some kind of weird um, play there of baby Groot and regular Groot. Um, and obviously, this is the tree. Yeah, he's a tall tree guy. Okay. And Marvel vs. Capcom a lot is about tagging in and out. So I think that uh, that synergy with Rocket Raccoon would be really awesome. So I think Groot's definitely him. a must. I could see him doing some really cool moves like extending his tree arms and just smashing people up and down against the yeah the trunking them yeah. he'll be a, he'll probably be a juggler he'll probably be able to juggle people um yeah. so next up star lord do you think star lord's going to be in it um i think he's a maybe i don't know if he's yeah. a definitive i'm going to say maybe i think he's a maybe sure. we'll put it yeah we'll put him on the maybe list right now i'm actually going to say no right for him because i'm going to say yes to your next question which is gamora there you go She's a total, you think Gamora? total yes, dude. She's a badass assassin. Uh, I'm gonna since I I consider it a no. We'll put it. We'll, so Star Lord is on the maybe. Gamora is on the maybe. We're I both, think she's made for that a fighting area. game. Yeah, that is true. Um, and then Drax. Do you think Drax? They don't have a lot of heavies in Marvel versus Capcom, so I don't know if they'd if they'd want to uh, to add him. Um, but it could be there could be some cool synergy there. Yeah. Um, do you think he's a maybe sitting so far? I'm going to say no for Drax. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to the Defenders. Iron Fist is already in the game. So the other Defenders we have are Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Punisher. Um, personally, I don't think Jessica Jones or Punisher are going to make the cut, no matter what. Um, Punisher just doesn't make sense because he has guns. I know, obviously, Iron Man has guns and stuff, but... Com completely reliant on guns. Yeah, too. the Punisher isn't really... You don't think of him as like a hand-to-hand -hand combat guy, so I don't think he fits. Yeah. Um, and Jessica Jones is on that cusp. I think they definitely need more female characters in fighting games. So I think it's a Gamora or Jessica Jones kind of thing. And I think I'm going to write that down as we'll, we'll decide. Unless you think Jessica Jones has no shot, then we can put through Gamora. What do you think? Yeah, I'd Jordan? say Jessica yeah. Jones is a no, definite no. Okay, so They're Gamora yes, makes though. the cut by default. So it's Gamora and Groot we have so far, two out of nine. Um, what about Luke Cage or Daredevil? I think Daredevil is 100% yes. Because of the success of the Netflix series, um, I, I think he, if you need to replace Deadpool with somebody, I think he's kind of, from a fighting standpoint, I think he's the good um, you know, replacement for him. Obviously, they don't have the pers same personality, but um, I think Daredevil's a lock. What about you? i say Daredevil and Luke Cage are both locks. That, that, I think yeah, I don't know much fitting. about Luke Cage, but I mean, uh, Daredevil. It, as soon as you select the character, the screen just turns black. <laughs> it's like, it's like that. So I think uh, I'm with you on Daredevil and Luke Cage, Jordan. I think we'll both we'll put them both in as a lock. I think that that's fitting. Um, I think we're both uh, we're, we're all in agreement, right? That Punisher doesn't make sense, and Jessica Jones either. They just I don't think they're gonna make the cut. Um, next up, we have. Uh, 
Captain Marvel. Do you think you know people people want Captain Marvel to be good because it's the first um, female led Marvel movie? Do you think they're going to put her in this game? Yeah, she's a really powerful superhero and has some really cool cosmic powers. So I'd say she's definite. Yes. Yeah, I think so too. I think they, I think they want Captain Marvel to become an an Iron Man or a, like a Captain America, but for like, you know, females and little girls and stuff like that. I think they want captain marvel to be a very prominent presence in marvel so i think they're trying to put her in anywhere they can because they want her to be be a thing you know yeah. um they want her to be marvel's wonder woman i i personally think yeah um i i think she's i think she's a lock as well um so next up uh we have the inhumans now the inhumans might sound weird because they're not known by a lot of people but with the recent announcement of the IMAX kind of introduction into the television show, um, the Inhumans are going to be a big thing. People wondered why the movie got canceled. This is why, because they came up with another way to introduce the Inhumans. Um, they're also in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a little bit. Um, and Inhumans are kind of like Marvel's workaround to mutants, since they can't really use X-Men um, in a way. That's why they were able to use uh, Inhumans on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I have a, I have a picture here of the seven main... Uh, Inhumans, most of them people don't care. Well, most of them, all of them, people don't care about. But the ones that people know the most are Black Bolt, um, who is the black. He, he has a black suit. He's known f kind of for like um, very like high pitched sound and stuff like that. Um, there's Medusa, uh, who a lot of people are familiar with with her crazy hair. Um, and then the other two I would say that, that are the most prominent are Triton and Karnak. Triton's like he looks like a mer person, not like a merman, but he just looks like a scaly fish dude. And uh, Karnak kind of looks like Mega Mind, if you guys remember that movie. Uh, that's the easiest way to describe him. Um, but as far as like the characters that I think could possibly be in it, I think it's either um, Medusa or Black Bolt. Um, yeah. I know you're probably not too familiar with these characters, Dom. Uh, Jordan, do you think Black Bolt or Medusa make the cut? Medusa could be interesting because of her hair, right? They could do some really cool stuff with that. Yeah. Um, I'd say do you could... think either of them make the cut, or Inhumans is too abstract? I think they'd probably both make the cut because they're going to try to um, be using those characters now. And um, I think they'd both work well. Okay, now, so... Remember, they do have to hold off, probably, on some bigger characters that they want to use uh, so they have something for DLC, right? Yeah, exactly. These kind of games? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to be one of those things where it's the DLC will have characters of so I think they will there will have like an Inhumans character and then other ones will be DLC you know, um, so I you don't want to be like you don't want to be like Star Wars Battlefront where your new DLC characters are like oddball random people that yeah. no one the hell knows. <laughs> so I agree with you on Black Bolt Jordan. That's a definite lock. Medusa I'm putting on the maybe list. So so far we have one two three four five six people locked in. We only have three more positions, three more spots, uh, and we're barely getting to Civil War. So, I'm running down the list. Captain America, Iron Man, already in the game. Um, Hawkeye, already in the game. So, that leaves Ant-Man. I personally think Ant-Man's a lock. Uh, but, what do you How think? How are you going to do that? Think he's a lock? How are you going to be able to see him when he goes tiny on the screen? Uh, I think they can... They, it, I don't think he'll be tiny uh, forever. I think it's going to be one of his combos where it kind of shows him turning tiny and then getting big and using momentum as, like, a move. Um... I think it'd be more of like a like a finishing combo or something. I don't know if he could necessarily turn small during combat, but I think he could turn big. Um, it seems like you're a little opposed to that, so we're going to put Ant-Man for now on the maybe list. Um, next up, Black Panther. This could be a lock, too. I'd say um, Black Panther is perfect for DLC. You think Black Panther's a DLC character? Yeah. Uh, I could see that, definitely. Um, we'll, we'll, so he's not going to make the list. Um, I think, yeah, it, considering if the game comes out mid- Mid to late next year, Black Panther is the following year. That could be a nice timing for them. So I definitely see that. I understand where you're coming from there. Black Panther would be an awesome character. I, I really hope he comes to the forefront. That cast is awesome. Like, it th they uh, recently cast somebody else as his mother. I forgot who Angela was. Bassett. Yeah. Oh, man, that cast is coming together like gold, man. It's awesome. Um, that's one of my most anticipated Marvel movies, personally, is Black Panther. Um Next up, Winter Soldier or Vision? Do you think either of these two guys make it? Mm. I think Winter Soldier has more of a chance than Vision. Because he's, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, 
I'd say, yeah, you could do Winter Soldier, and then uh, Vision is good for DLC as well. Okay, so Winter Soldier is going to be a lock. Uh, the last couple of group of people here, we have Black Widow, War Machine, and Scarlet Witch, and Falcon. Do you think any of those make the cut? Repeat that. Falcon, Scarlet Witch, War Machine, and Black Widow. I think the only one that's possible is probably Black Widow. Um, I would say uh, War Machine and um, um, Scarlet Witch or Falcon? Scarlet Witch. Hmm. Okay. Those would be. Uh, I can see War Machine. I just I don't I don't see Scarlet Witch fitting in too well, and I don't think. It, see that she's one of those tiptoeing the line of the X Men thing, you know. Oh, obviously, yeah. she's Magneto's daughter and stuff like that. So, I could see War Machine though. I could see him because, like, like I said before, Marvel vs. Capcom is all about teaming up. So, uh, I think that'd be interesting. We'll put War Machine on the list. So let me count them up and we'll see what we're sitting at, and then we'll see what else we need to finish the roster. So we have War Machine, Captain Marvel, Luke Cage, Daredevil, Gamora, Black Bolt, and Winter Soldier. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Medusa, you said you think she would be in the game. I'll agree with you there, so that's eight. I, I'm going to say Scarlet Witch over Medusa now, now though. Cause I'm just, Scarlet Witch? I'm, yeah, I'm looking at female characters. Okay, yeah, Scarlet Witch, I'll go with you on that one. Um, She's really she powerful. probably a more powerful, yeah. So um, We're at eight, so now we can choose between Drax, Star-Lord, and Ant-Man for the ninth spot. I think Ant-Man's out, personally, so I think it's between Star-Lord and Drax. You think Star Lord? I mean, he's the face of Guardians, right? It's Chris Pratt, like. Sure. Plus, they didn't oh, have. Oh yeah, that's right, Chris Pratt. Well, I mean, like, he's so, not gonna yeah. be that Star Lord in the game, but yeah. No, 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 no. I know, <laughs> but I'm saying like that's a that's a that's a popular character to kids, so they definitely want it probably. Um, him over Drax. I think Drax is a cool character having a fighting game, but I think Star Lord would be, you know, nice comic relief and stuff like that. So. Uh, We'll have Star Lord. So here's the final list as it sits: the controlled interest, Dream, Marvel vs. Capcom 4 lineup, um, the new additions: Winter Soldier, Black Bolt, Star Lord, Gamora, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Captain Marvel, War Machine, and Scarlet Witch. I think we did pretty good. Um, I doubt all these characters will be in it, but I'm interested to see who they choose. Uh, I think, like we said, Groot's definitely a lock, um, and I think the other lock for me personally would be Daredevil and Captain Marvel. Other than that, I think it's wide open to see who they choose. Um, what about you, you guys? What do you do? You guys think there's any locks outside of Groot, or are these all like dream scenarios? Just the ones that we talked about being DLC. You know, Black Panther and Vision, those guys. Okay. Um, and then all these characters could be DLC, really, with all these movies. Exactly. Um, I think the easiest ones are the. Are, are the Guardians of the Galaxy characters because those are like you know it's prominent Guardians of the Galaxy two is right around the corner, and uh, a lot of the Civil War characters too because they want them to be prominent as well. So yeah. Um, sorry, Dom. There wasn't much for you to say there. You're kind of out of the loop there, but uh, um, I'm excited. I'm not a huge fighting game fan, but I love Marvel, so um, I'm excited to see what Marvel vs. Capcom four has to show. 